So here's what the unit comes with. It's the unit itself, a USB charging cable, and one of these clip hooks that goes right on that little loop right there. And first thing you notice is it has a little tiny compass built in with fluid in there to dampen it. And it seems to be pretty functional. I tested it. And you can see the top has the solar array for charging it using the sun. When you put this in the sun, you will see the first LED turn green. And it'll also give you a status at the same time. There's four LEDs right there, and that's the percentage of charge from one being one to 25% to all four being 75 to 100%. And if you flip this cover off back here, you have access to the charging port and the two USB output ports on there. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the included USB cable and it's kind of short, it's about a foot long. And I'm going to plug it into this device right on the back there. And I'm going to plug it into a uh, standard one amp USB port right there. And you can see that there is some blinking going on. And it's showing that it's in the 75% charged because you can see uh, the fourth LED is blinking based on the manual. And when it's finished charging, I th what they're saying is it'll stop blinking. And I think it'll still sh it'll show the uh, status at that point too, or they'll be totally off, I'm not sure. But let's let this thing uh, charge first of all, see how it does. Okay, so it's been about uh, two and a half, three hours. And you could see that all the uh, LEDs, the four of them are all lit. So it's fully 100% charged. Uh, now one of the things that's on it, which is pretty unique, it has two uh, bright LEDs on there. And there's a couple different modes I'm gonna show you. If you long press the power switch, that turns on the LEDs, as you can see. If you pulse it again, that gives the SOS mode for emergencies. And if you press it a third time, that's in rapid mode. And then a fourth time should turn it off. You could also turn it off by long pressing this in any of those modes. So that's how that works. I want to point something out that there's two ports on here. And um, there's a port one and a port two. And the port one is five volts at one amp. And the port two is 2.1 amps, five volts. And they're not labeled, so I'm assuming that that's port 1 and that's port 2. I want to show you how the uh, charging, solar charging works on here. I have a uh, LED bright light, and you can see as I'm approaching that, you can see the green LED coming on right there. And it's uh, a little hard to see, but it's also showing the blue status LEDs. So it's still showing you that 75% charged because the last one's blinking. So it's acting just like it's being charged by USB except it's being charged by solar. Now when the solar charges, that green LED, that's the only time that it comes on as well as the status. When you're doing USB charging, it's just gonna be the status indicators and blinking. So that lets you know that it's receiving solar energy for charging. Now let's see if we could uh, use these ports to uh, charge something. I'm going to use the included cable. Let's see if I could uh, put a charge onto this LED work light. And there you go. You see the red light on there? So it's charging this work light. And it gives you a status indicator two of the power. Now I see, uh, let's see, yeah, that's, that's nice. Now if I go to the other port, same thing, I get the uh, charging symbol right there. Now, if you have a cell phone, let's see how it works with a cell phone. Here's a Nexus 6, and I'm gonna try it on the uh, port here. And it says charging. So, 
it's uh, functioning. I see my little charging symbol right there. And I'm not sure which one of these is 2.1 amps and one is 1 amp. I think that's the 1 amp and that's the 2.1 amp right there. So it's doing what it's supposed to do. So what's my overall impression of this device? I really like it. Um, as you can see, I was able to use these ports and uh, charge a cell phone, charge a uh, work light. I was able to apply charge using the micro adapter right there, USB adapter. I like the fact that it has a status display on there showing you what percentage is left. And it's got these cool solar arrays and it's also pretty water resistant. And you could charge this in the sun if you don't have access to AC power. This is great to keep charging in the sun and you can keep your cell phones and tablets running effectively using the sun power. And I think it's very cool that it has two LEDs on there that come on and they are pretty bright with the SOS function and the blinking function. And of course, let's not forget that it has this cool little compass that's in a fluid and it seems to be nicely dampened and it works quite well. So I'm gonna give this a full five star rating. I really like it and I think you will too. I hope my video review helped you with your buying choice. Thanks for watching.